So as the title of the video says, can we recreate the serum synth within caustic? Ooh, short answer yes with an if, long answer no with a but. All jokes aside, the answer is no, but also yes, but with major limitations. But we can get pretty much the majority of all the stuff in there. Before we jump into caustic, let's do a quick overview of what exactly makes up the serum synth. In the top left hand corner is the sub oscillator. Now there is also a button that says direct out. This will go directly to the output and it will bypass the filter. Remember the word direct out because this will come into play within caustic. Directly below the sub oscillator is the noise generator. Basically, this is a sampler. Right now, these are just audio files loaded up that has uh, noise on it. If we turn the oscillator off, all it is is noise and you can just filter through the different wave files. So if this is a sampler, that means that we can take a wave file and just drop it in here. If you hover it right above here, now we have a sample. If we hit the keyboard, now it's being affected by the different octaves that you push on your keyboard. This also has a direct out button. In the top middle is our oscillator A and oscillator B. If we go to where it says default, we go to analog and go to basic shapes. If we take the wavetable position knob and turn it, it will cycle through the different waveforms. The top right is where our filter is located. If we turn it on, we can cycle through the different filters that we have here. If we uh, click B, that means that oscillator B is now going through the filter. The N and the S is for the noise and the sub. But if you have the direct out, that means that this is going to bypass this, even if this is on. And the bottom left is where our amp envelope is, and that's envelope number one. But there still is more envelopes uh, to choose from. So if we go to envelope number two, we can, let's say, drag this over to the cutoff of the filter. And this will now modulate the filter with whatever shape that we decide to do it. So let's turn it into like a little pluck. And now we can control the modulation. In the bottom middle is where our LFO is. So if we wanted to modulate the semis of oscillator B, all we have to do is just drag this over to the semis. Now we can choose the speed. And this will modulate in this shape, whatever shape that we decide it to be, and the speed it will modulate whatever we drag it to. In the bottom right is where our voicing is. We can do mono, legato, and we can change things to portamento. Now the notes will glide. Before we get into the effects, I want to show you uh, the FM capability on here. So if we go to oscillator A and we just turn down this level, let's just switch this to basic shapes really quick. So we have a sine wave. Let's actually put both of these to sine waves. Now, if we take this here where the uh, warp menu is and we go from like FM from B, now this will FM, oscillator B will FM oscillator A. We can go to the next tab by clicking the effects. So the only thing that we can't do in caustic is the hyper dimension. So we're not even gonna turn this on, but we will be able to create distortion flanger, phaser, chorus, delay, compressor, reverb, EQ, and filter. Now that we have a basic overview of what the serum synth is made up of, let's go into caustic and recreate it. Before we start building this, here is a quick picture of the front panel in serum so you can refresh your memory on where things are located. So on the top left, let's put a sub oscillator in, and then right below it was the noise generator. Right below this, it can be a sampler, so we're going to put a machine input, and we're actually going to use the PCM synth that's going to be routed through there. On the bottom left was our amp envelope, so if we go to envelopes, let's just put in a dadzer. Right here in the top middle was our oscillator, so let's just click here, and we'll just do waveform generators for both of them, because you can cycle through the uh, waveforms, and you can do FM with this too, so that's uh, good. In the top right was our filter. We are going to use a state variable filter because that's basically three filters in one. It just gives you three options now. Remember how there is multiple envelopes within Serum? Well, that's what we're going to do. And this second envelope is going to be dedicated to controlling our filter for the modulation. 
So click here and we're going to do a decay envelope and right below it is a attack envelope. In the middle, we are going to put our mixer so we can uh, plug everything in. So let's do three uh, input mixers for both these slots. On the bottom middle was where our LFO was. So let's do a mini LFO. And on right here, finally, on the bottom right, we are going to have our portamento effect, which is a lag processor. Let's flip this around and start plugging stuff in. The first thing that we want to do, we want to take our note control voltage and run it through the lag processor. Like I said before, this is going to give us that portamento effect. So if we take the outs, we're going to put it into the notes of our oscillators. So run it through the sub and our two generators. So do you remember the direct out button that was in Serum? So this is where this comes into play. Our left mixer is going to be dedicated to a direct out. The right mixer is going to be all our stuff that's going to be routed through the filter. So I want my sub to be a direct out, but I want my noise to run through the filter. So we're going to put it into one. I want oscillator, let's just call this oscillator A, to run in through the filter. Same with oscillator B. So take the out of our filtered mixer and put it into our filter. We're just going to use a low pass on here. So take the low pass out and put it into our direct out mixer. Here is where our sampler is going to be. So if we just take the mono and just put it into the direct out. We can simply just use our amp envelope and run it straight into the volume modulation. Finally, to add a little bit of modulation to the filter, we can either choose to have our decay envelope or our attack envelope to be running through there. This is basically our second uh, envelope modulation just to add extra options. Right now, we're not going to mess with the LFO, but if we simply take our direct out and put it into our, uh, our output volume, we will be able to have some noise. <laughs> Sounds like trash, so let's start dialing in the sound. But before we do that, let's route our sampler in. Let's load up a PCM synth. Flip this around, and where it says no source, click it till it says PCM synth, and we want to send notes to source. This way, we can have this selected right here, and you can hit your keyboard, and it will play the PCM synth without having to have it on our screen. So let's load up the PCM synth, and now we can long press the sample, and I'm just going to go to that same uh, sample that I used for uh, in the vital, that woo thing. Where is it? There we are. Woo. Okay, let's load it. So we want to have a little bit of volume up on this, but the thing that we want to do, actually, I'm going to turn it to um, polyphony to one because the um, modular synth is mono, so I don't want any overlapping notes. So let's go down to our mixer, and we're going to turn this down because we want all our sound to be routed through the modular. All right, let's see if it worked. You can hear him in the background. So if we flip this around, we can, let's turn down the noise. There, we have it. But we also have our oscillators going on to here. So um, right here, here is our um, sub oscillator. So we can turn that down to get a little bit of bass going. That's too loud. Let's turn it down a little bit. Um, our white noise, uh, we want just barely on. There, that gives us a little bit of noise without being too overbearing. This is a little bit too loud. You know what I'm actually going to do? Now that we know that you can have a sample of basically anything in here, and that's how you do it, I'm not even going to turn it on. We could just basically just turn this down, and now it won't. Let's get, um, you can't hear it. So let's get a little bit of harmonics going on. So now we can actually show what the portamento is doing where the rate is. See, no portamento, but if we bring it down, I'm actually gonna turn the sub off as well because you know how to route it too. Um, if you wanted to switch anything, remember, if you wanted the sub oscillator to be routing through our filter, you would just plug it into here. Um, it's 
it just depends on what you're trying to achieve. With this setup, you have all the options available, but that's not necessarily the best thing if you're going for a sound. Like, for instance, I don't even really want the uh, sub oscillator or the, um, what's it called? Going, I don't even want it, the sub, the noise, or the sampler going. Uh, let's just say all I want is just these two uh, oscillators. So we can uh, have some, let's turn the portamento not so much, but still have it a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I want to FM this sound now. So if we take it all the way back down to a sine wave, flip this around, and then take the out and put it into the FM here, we can take the direct out of this. So now there's no sound um, coming from this, because remember how we turned it down within Serum? So here is our uh, FM. Oh, I have that noise still going. So now we have our FM capabilities. Let's turn the harmonics back up. I'm going to keep this at zero, drop this down to one, and we can smear the sound by just bringing the sense over. I'm going to not FM, or we could do a little bit of FM on here, and then we could just have it directly out again. So now we have um, a little bit of FM going on with a detuned um, oscillator with a sine wave or with a, a saw and a square wave. Now we can mess with the modulation of the cutoff. So this is just running as the filter, but if we were to, let's say, plug in the decay into the cutoff. We can um, also use the, um, the attack if we wanted to instead. Like I said, it's all about the options, what you want. Now you're getting a, a wah instead of a dow, dow. So it's all about really what you're looking for. Um, let's actually unplug this because now I want to show you what we did with the LFO. So we could turn, take this LFO and put it into like the pitches of both of these. Let's just turn it up and uh, hear how that sounds. Let's turn up the speed. And that uh, in the serum, we had it as a triangle wave. So... So we're able to create that kind of siren sound uh, like we did in Serum. I'm going to unplug these and just have our sound again. Now we can add the effects. To do this, we are going to load up another modular. So I'm actually going to switch these around. I want this here. Here's our first modular. I'm going to name this just number one. And then load up another one. And we're going to call this uh effects just fx here's where we're going to load some stuff up so we want this to be routed we want the first modular to be routed through here so to do that remember we have a machine input and we can put this to number one and this will be send notes to source because we want to be able to use the keyboard here uh remember how we did it on the um the pcm uh synth we turn the volume down on the mixer. We want to do the same for this because all the volume is going to be going through this now. So if we go here, we can load up a couple of effects. So we want a delay. And then right next to it, we want the saturator, which is distortion. To make the delay work, it can be a little bit tricky. What you need to do is add a mixer to here. So we're going to take our, um, our routing of our other synth and bring into the mixer here first and we're going to take the out and just put it into the mixer and then but we're going to have to route it through the thing again so now that this is routed like this we can go to here and then now we can uh have the delay so if we didn't do that if we just had it let's say straight through here it just makes a delay. So watch when I hit it. See how it delays it? It doesn't play it right away. 
Like if we just had this go straight to here, see how it plays it right away? But if it goes into here, it delays it. Oops. So that's why we route it through the mixer first and then back into itself. We can route it through our saturator now. Go to here, and now we have some uh, distortion. So now that I showed you how to do the delay thing, I don't actually want this anymore. I'm going to go just straight into our um, uh, into the saturator. So that's how you get the um, distortion on here. Now with everything else, we can just go to our effects rack. So here is the number one. We can do like a chorus. On this, we could do a uh, phaser. On the FX, we can do like a flanger, and then finally a compressor. So let's go here. So that's how we can get all those different uh, effects on here. And then finally, if we wanted to have a um, our EQ, will be right here. Um, this is a good way we, where you can just do the EQ or... If you didn't want the flanger, uh, like if you had wanted all of them at once, you could use this EQ. But if you say you didn't want the flanger, you can just use a like a parametric equalizer. Um, or a remember how the other one had a filter? You can use a multi filter where you can just uh, choose the different uh, filters that you want through here. Finally, we can do a reverb, and if we really wanted to, you could just do the delay from here. So it's uh, up to you on what option you want to choose to be able to have your effects. But basically, this is Serum kind of all bundled uh, together that gives you the different options on here. So like I said, there's total limitations. Like there's no wavetable stuff. You can only use the uh, basic shapes. And that's why I showed you how you filter through the basic shapes within Serum. Uh, other than that, man, this is just a really ghetto version of a really good synth. So um, if anything, I really hope that you uh, learned some stuff about routing and just the different options that you have within uh, the modular synth and caustic because this is by far the most powerful synthesizer within the program. So um, try to get familiar with it. And if you want more stuff like this, uh, let me know and um, maybe I'll consider making a video. All right, thanks for watching. Cue the music. I forgot to mention that you can change your amp envelope to legato with this switch right here.